Hi guys, my name is Moni, and today I'm going to show you how to do um, mock test A from ptpractice.com, which is an official PT mock test from Pearson itself. It will also give you the results straight away so that you will know where um, your level is. So today we're going to do score test A, which consists of 71 questions and you're given 180 minutes. Uh, but in this session, I'm just going to show you the speaking part only. Some people found that this test is actually harder than the real test. So it's a good chance for you to practice and equip yourself with the right techniques and tricks uh, to actually ace the speaking part. So let's get started. So as you can see, we've got 77 to 93 minutes to complete part one of the exam, which includes speaking and writing. Okay, but we're just going to analyze only speaking in this section. Okay, so firstly, the read aloud session. Just keep in mind that you have 35 seconds before the recording start. And during this time, don't just read it in your head. You need to actually read it out loud so that you familiarize yourself with the sound and the words that are a bit challenging to pronounce so that you can be more articulate when you start reading. Okay, taking sounding in the deep ocean was and long remain a laborious and time-consuming task and knowledge of the undersea topography. Okay. Taking soundings in the deep ocean was and long remain a laborious and time-consuming task, and knowledge of the undersea topography lies considerably behind our acquaintance with the landscape of the near side of the moon. Over the years, methods were improved. So you click next straight away once you finish recording because you don't want the microphone to catch any unnecessary noises from the background or from another person next to you. The principle of cooperation is one of the things that sets conversation apart from similar activities such as lectures, debates, arguments, and meetings. Other qualities which help to define conversation include the equal distribution of speaker rights, mutual respect among speakers, spontaneity, and informality, and a non-business-like environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Focus on your fluency, okay? The principle of cooperation is one of the things that sets conversation apart from similar activities such as lectures, debate, arguments, and meetings. Other qualities which help to define conversation include the equal distribution of speaker rights, mutual respect among speakers, spontaneity and informality, and a non-business-like environment. Okay. Okay, pay attention that your main focus is fluency and pronunciation. So uh, you need to speak clearly and with natural articulation of every word you speak. Um, so for example, in this case, like, you know, all the words that contain more than three syllables, you, you need to pronounce it clearly so that computer can catch uh, your pronunciation, like executive, connection, legislature, coordination, um, distinctive features, got it, disqualifying membership okay and the most important is do not correct yourself the american executive unlike the british has no connection with the legislature and this lack of coordination between executive and legislature is one of the distinctive features of american federal government the constitution guided against executive control by disqualifying federal officials whether civil or military from membership in congress so if you have noticed, I speak quite fast. It's because my main priority is to maintain the oral fluency, which significantly impacts your score for speaking. And it's nothing but the flow, the speed, and the correct um, usage of the words, the accuracy of your speech. So I would recommend to speak in between 17 seconds to 22 seconds. And for shorter sentence, it can be 12 seconds. All right? Unprecedented so charges. Okay. In the summer of 2006, Euro experience dropped on an unprecedented scale. On the Rhine, Euro speed is waterway, low waters forces ships to carry less cargo and make up for roads revenue with surcharges of up to 50%. In Italy, the Agricultural Confederation announced that the grape harvest was the lowest in two decades. 
Okay, so this time I've actually made a mistake uh, for unprecedented. And have, if you notice, I didn't try to correct myself, but instead I just moved on. And that's what you need to do. So don't correct yourself because you can actually trick computer into thinking that uh, you skip the word very quickly and you can still maintain your fluency. All right. Life and death struggles, fascinating and challenging parts of biology and researchers go about in several ways. Mythological, mythological. The history of life on Earth is filled with mystery, life and death struggles, and bizarre plants and animals as amazing as any mythological creature. Studying life history is one of the most fascinating and challenging parts of biology and researchers go about in several ways. Okay, this one is a shorter one, so you'll be able to read it within 12 seconds, I guess. <laughs> Blue food is rare in nature. Food researchers say that when humans search for food, they learn to avoid toxic or spoiled objects, which are often blue, black, or purple. When food dyed blue is served to study subjects, they lose appetite. Okay, a lot of B in this sentence. Um, blue food, black, okay. Mm -hmm. Blue food is rare in nature. Food researchers say that when humans search for food, they learn to avoid toxic or spoiled objects, which are often blue, black, or purple. When food dyed blue is served to study a subject, they lose appetite. It is quite clear that rising prosperity does not make people feel more content. It is quite clear that rising prosperity doesn't make people feel more content. This course will examine some of the profound ethical dilemmas. <clears throat> this course will examine some of the profound ethical dilemmas. Okay. Bees are heavily discounted and bursaries are available for delegates. Fees are heavily discounted and something are available for delegates. I didn't hear it. Students are held accountable for adhering to established community standards. Students are held accountable for adhering to established community standards. Okay. This article covers the who, where and when of the conflict. This article covers the who, where and when of the conflict. Click next straight away, okay? Essays should be typed with double spacing on white paper. Essays should be typed with double spacing on white paper. Remember this also mark your listening. The medical center is located near the supermarket on North Street. The medical center is located near the supermarket on North Street. The mismatch between the intended and reported uses of the instrument becomes clear. The mismatch between the intended and reported something becomes clear. New York City is famous for its ethnic diversity. New York City is famous for its ethnic diversity. A periodical is a publication that is issued regularly. A periodical is the publication that has issued regularly. Okay, so with describe image, you just need to have a plan for your answer, have a template in advance. And remember, this is an English test. It's not a test of how well you analyze a graph or process or diagram. So just show that you have a good pronunciation, be articulate and use keywords. All right. Okay. The graph below shows the sources of funding for higher education in Scotland based on five different sectors, which is endowment, sect services, overseas fees, research funding, council grants as well. And from the graph, it can be seen that the year 2001 uh, and uh, with February contributes the maximum, which can be seen at over 1,200 million pounds. And on the other hand, 1994 may contribute the minimum, which can be seen at a bit over 800 million pounds in cash term.
So in conclusion, it can be seen that 1997 uh, in August was the average in between these two periods. So if you notice some of the things I said at the end made no sense, but don't worry about it because you actually don't have to really make sense and just focus on clarity and natural articulation as well as um, the flow of your speech. So as long as you manage to include all the keywords from the graph and say about the high and the low, you should be fine. Okay. The bar chart below shows retirements from maintained schools by reason in England from 1998-1999 to 2005-2006. And from the graph, it can be seen that 2005-2006 contribute the maximum, which is a bit over than 10,000 people. And on the other hand, 1998 and 1999 contribute the minimum, which can be seen at above 5,000 retirements in both premature and age. So in conclusion, it can be seen that there are over a period of the retirement and they are distributed unequally between each other. Okay, so I was a bit rushed and messed up my answer a little bit, but it's okay. Um, my main focus is the fluency, so I can't let anything to break the flow of my speech, so I continue to talk so that um, I can trick the computer that I'm confident, like a native speaker, and um, can maintain my speech appropriately. The bar chart below shows proportion of trips made by Maud in Sydney in 2004 based on four different ways. As can be seen from the graph, vehicle contribute the maximum which can be seen as 72% and on the other hand others contribute the minimum with only 2%. Other methods of transportation include work only with 17% as well as train, bus and ferry with only 10%. In conclusion, it can be seen that the majority of people in Sydney prefer to travel by vehicle whereas only few travel by other ways maybe by other transportation that they have so another thing is you should speak for around 35 to 38 seconds if you can manage to reach 40 seconds it will be perfect but it's really hard to not let um, the time cut your speech so just be careful Okay, be mindful about it. The table below shows the increase in the number of dwellings over past 10 years. The first column shows the region, which is Sydney City, and the second one is dwelling stock, which consists of year uh, uh, at 1994 and 2004, with 45,040 in 1994 and 76,803 in 2004. It also shows increase in number, which is 31,703, and percentage increase with 71 only. In conclusion, it can be seen that the ch uh, table below shows the um, changes in the number of houses over the past 10 years. Click next straight away. And also with table, you actually just read. You, uh, you just read whatever you see and don't make it complicated. Don't try to overanalyze. Okay, which one is the highest? 2002 and the lowest one. Okay. The chart below shows the evolution of success rate in Canada from 2000 to 2003 based on two main factors which is failures and successes and it can be seen from the graph 2002 contribute the maximum with 83.5% and on the other hand 2000 contribute the minimum which which is 30% and in failures. In conclusion, it can be seen that there are four years of the evolution of success rate in Canada in 2000 to 2003. So most of people succeeded in 2002, whereas um, most people fell in 2003. Right, so with the line graph, it's the same thing. You don't need to uh, use sophisticated vocabulary like IELTS, like increase dramatically, decrease um, quickly, sharply, or bottom up, or whatever. Just use the same template as you use for bar chart. Okay? Just identify the highest and the lowest.
Okay, so the graph shows the average class size in UK schools in 1994 to 2006. From the graph, it can be seen that for primary school, the highest uh, number of the classroom was in 1998 with around 28 people in the class. Whereas for secondary, the year 2006 was the lowest one, which is 21 people in the classroom. So in conclusion, there were more students in primary schools in comparison to secondary schools in that period. The basis of all life on Earth uh, is, is the same. All creatures on Earth are made up of cells. I'm not going to dwell on the biology of cells um, much more than that, but I do want to point out a few things. First of all, there are two sources for protein. There's something called the prokaryotic cell, and it's a prokaryotic cell, which is fairly simple. And it's uh, the thing that, that all bacteria are made of. And then we have a eukaryotic cell, much more complicated piece on the right. Um, which didn't appear until well into the history of the biosphere on Earth. And um, there are many single-celled eukaryotes, but there are also, um, and importantly, uh, uh, multicellular organisms, and all of those are based on the eukaryotic cell. Okay, with this one, have a template as well, with the plan for your answer, okay? The lecture provided information on two types of organisms, which he also denoted that all creatures are made of cells. Uh, in particular, there are two types of cells, which is eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. On the left-hand side, it's uh, prokaryotes, which he mentioned that all the things or bacteria are made of. And on the right-hand side, are uh, eukaryotic, which are more complicated and appear much later, and are more importantly, these are multicellular organisms which represent most plants and animals and which are vital for organism and, and all the creatures itself. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> Unemployment, lost productivity, and lost contributions to the community are typical and usually uncounted costs of homelessness. And they be, can be addressed with an integrated strategy. Integrated housing also addresses environmental and sustainability challenges. We incorporate green design principles to create healthier buildings for our residents and staff, limit emissions, and contain energy costs to preserve affordability and reduce the impact of our buildings on the environment. Integrated housing allows a whole community response and the opportunity for mutually beneficial public-private collaborations. Corporate investors match the contributions of government to pay for the acquisition and redevelopment of the Prince George. Corporate investors receive valuable tax credit and other benefits from the federal government and significant marketing benefits for their brand locally. Philanthropy supported the initial program and business planning for the project. Student architects from a local university designed and built an entry floor art gallery for use by community arts organizations. Historic preservation groups assisted with the fundraising for the ballroom restoration and the restored ballroom is a rental venue used by many organizations for events, training, fundraisers, and the rental proceeds benefit Common Ground's other supportive housing work, and the jobs created through the caterers are set aside, many of them, for our tenants. Okay. Um. The speaker provides information on homelessness and which consists of four different factors which is cost, solution, corporate um, benefits and community supports. Firstly, he mentioned that there are solutions such as integrated housing, green design principles which will reduce emissions, wastage of energy, hence cost of energy and reduce impact on environment. He also mentioned about corporations uh, which should contribute in the Prince George and as well as community support. and. But in particular, students from local universities should design and build an art gallery. So in conclusion, he mentioned all the solutions for homelessness. But there's a plant, another dandelion relative, called Achillea, also known as yarrow. And in the Iliad, which is based on events that happened perhaps as much as 2000 BC, Achilles is mentioned as using this herb to heal the wounds of his warriors. So the use of medicinal plants certainly goes back that far. 
The Romans, of course, used herb, medical herbs, including dandelions. By the time it got to the Middle Ages, dandelions were a well-established medical plant. They were something that was planted in virtually every monastery across Europe, all the many monasteries, the Benedictine movement, um, were havens of knowledge, of the classical knowledge of the ancient Greeks and Romans, was, was kept alive in the monasteries. And monasteries, of course, they were where you would go if you were sick, because the monks were the people who knew uh, the ways to use plants to cure people. So dandelions were a very common plant in monastery gardens. Dens leonis is medieval Latin for tooth of the lion. And of course, you can still buy dandelions off the shelf as a medicine to this day. Okay, this is a, a bit tricky one. The lecture provided information on medicinal plant, which is called dandelion. He firstly talked about Achillea, which is a dandelion relatives, and talks about Achille from the Iliad, who used this herb to heal his troops. We also know that it was also used by the Romans, and by the Middle Ages, the dandelion was widely recognized by everyone as a medicinal plant, and so that we could find it in monasteries, which store ancient knowledge from the Greeks. And the Romans were the only ones who could treat illnesses. And in conclusion, it was also mentioned about Denis Leonid, which was Latin for tooth of the lion, and dandelions can be bought from anywhere in the stores. How many times a year is a quarterly journal published? Four, four times. A lack of which kind of weather causes drought? Dry weather or rainy weather? Mm. Rainy. Rainy weather. Okay. Which is usually considered against the law? The use of illicit drugs or the use of prescription medication? The use of drugs. Drugs. When would it be safer to take a medication which causes drowsiness? Before sleeping, driving, or operating machinery? Before sleeping. Before sleeping. Which instrument is used to measure variations in temperature? Not sure. Not sure. When you create a table, the data in the horizontal dimension is organized in rows, and the data in the vertical dimension is organized in what? Columns. Columns. Next, straight away. Where is the natural habitat of animals that are classified as aquatic? In the land, in the sea, or in the sky? In the sea. In the sea. Which of the five senses are you using if you detect the odour of gas in the laboratory or in your kitchen? Smell. Smell. How many people are in a quartet? Six. Six people. How many legs does a biped have? Two legs. Two. So now we're going to access uh, the result of the test that I did. And let's check. Okay, let's see. So I got 90. And 90 for speaking. <laughs> and, oh, wow, grammar. Look at my fluency and pronunciation. That's your main focus. And another thing that is not included in here is the content. And it's normally the keywords that you use when you do describe image or retell lecture. But if you notice, I've actually missed few of repeat sentence as well as short answer questions. However, in order to get a perfect score, you will need, you will need to be perfect. You just need to focus um, on read aloud firstly, and then describe image and retell lecture. Do 
these three sections well and you will ace the test easily. I hope this session was useful and that you've learned something today. Thank you for watching and good luck with your test. Bye!